guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be doing a Christmas makeup look I am going to be putting on makeup for our family Christmas card today so I need to get ready for that I have like something in my eye I don't know what it is but we're gonna put on these little reindeer ears I don't know if you're gonna be able to really see them because they're huge alrighty so now I'm going to put on primer because you always need to prime your face. I feel like this shirt is like way too bright, but <laughs> that's okay. We're gonna rock with it anyways. I got it for my birthday this year because my birthday was very tiny because it was during the first, like, the first kind of like shutdown. So I could not have obviously very many like people around, which is fine. Um, it was really small. I think that was back when it was originally only like 10 people could be in a house at once, which I already live with three other people, so that's four of us already. So I only had very, very tiny bits for my birthday party, which this was one of my presents. I know that's random. All right, so I'm going to go in with the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I am like obsessed with this foundation. This is in linen. Um, I think this is the lightest color I could pick on the BoxyCharm, like, website before. Because, like, you know how you can, like, pick some of your products sometimes? When I saw there was foundation, I was like, I gotta pick this myself. And then I gotta, like, you know, pick a color that'll be almost pale enough. This one's a little warmer than I'd like, but it's not terrible. It doesn't look too crazy when I put it on. Like, some stuff looks insane. <laughs> so, this was not too bad all right we need like a mirror of some sort so i can see what i'm doing oh my eyes like bulge up all righty then that's not cute for a picture so have you guys started decorating for christmas obviously i already have my tree up i have had it up i think i can't remember if i put it up before or after thanksgiving honestly i think i did it right before like a day or two before just because i was like so excited for it to be up um christmas is like my absolute favorite time of year so i was like impatient i'm always impatient every year i'm like we could just start decorating in october <laughs> but we don't even though sometimes i want to i'm becoming even toned looking crazy we are foundationified we're gonna go in with jeffree stars c1 concealer this concealer one maybe it's probably what that is <laughs> All right, concealer on. And then we have the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. I think I'm going to set my chin because I feel like it doesn't like me all the time. So we are done with the Beauty Blender. Looking a little crazy, but that's okay. Oops. I'm trying to break my powder while we're at it. Let's drink some coffee. Look at this mug, isn't it so cute? It's like the size of my face almost. <laughs> now, I'm going to put on this Aesthetica uh, Sunset Bronzer. I'm gonna grab our handy dandy mirror. We're gonna get this on. Okay, the hairline. We're done with the bronzer. Now, I'm gonna get my blush palette. We're gonna oh, wipe away this bake. I'm just kind of like. I like to blend in my contour a little bit more with whatever powder is left on my little like fluffy brush. Because I just help. I, I hope. I think it helps tone it down quite a bit so it's not so dramatic because it doesn't need to be that dramatic. Obviously, it looks a little too crazy, right? My hair looks so dark against this, it's crazy. My hair's like really faded right now. Anyways, on to the blush. This is the Alamara? Almara? I don't know. And I use the Perisco, I think? Perisco? Perico. Blush. And I love blush, so I put quite a bit on. Always have, probably always will. Love it. Okay, now let's do some highlight. I'm going to use the Ofra Coven Garden. 
it's pink and I'm like obsessed with it and I use like a lot of it. <laughs> so do you guys have any fun plans for Christmas at all or are you doing anything like leading up to Christmas? Are you going to make cookies? Are you going to make ornaments? Are you going to decorate all crazy? Are you not decorating this year? Like comment below let me know what you guys are doing. I am curious. Um, I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow in, I think it's medium brown or diesel. And it's like this little like wand. So it just like brings your eyebrows to life because like my eyebrows, they get covered in foundation and then they start looking like they're gone. They get a little too crazy over here. And then this also helps like shape your brows. Many times, many ways, Making a mess. What is happening? You perk my eyebrows. These babies are getting out of control. But do you see like how that's a huge difference. <laughs> and that's just one little wandful. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my Anastasia brow pencil and taupe. And just kind of add a little more like, shape, I guess. And then I like to also use it to make the end a little more like almost pointed so it just adds a little more like definition I like my eyebrows to have like a little more of a structural look to them okay for eyebrows we are going to go into my Kylie Cosmetics cocoa palette and we're going to use the white color because it's my absolute favorite for a base of the whole lid. It's starting to go away and I'm so sad. I'm going to need a new one or something to replace it soon. So it just like adds that little like pop. So makeup look is going to be green. And I'm going to be using both of these like Huda Beauty palettes. Alright, this one is going to have all the like the super green colors for us to use. So, I'm going to go in with this one here as my crease color. I just like sit on my feet. I can't sit crisscross applesauce in a mouth. It's like breaking my back. Okay. you see that's so beautiful I absolutely love green eyeshadow it's like so pretty now I'm gonna go in with like this little teeny brush and I think I'm gonna take some of like the brown color and just like put it in the crease only to just deepen it a tiny bit. That is that so far. Now I think I'm going to put we're just going to use this like middle one. We're just going to put that like on this end here maybe. Like. Nothing? Okay. We're going to use our finger then. Okay. 
Can you see that? There we go. We're getting somewhere with this. When in doubt, use your finger. Okay, so that's just in that like very corner because I'm going to use this Stila like really awesome green. Hopefully it's still not, hopefully it's like not dry. It's like a wet eyeshadow kind of. It's still wet, yay. This is like super green. Can you see that? And then I'm going to take this same fluffy brush I was trying to use that other green on and just kind of like buff that out a tiny bit. Just kind of like fanning it into the crease a little and then over. So that is what that looks like so far. I am absolutely loving this. Honestly, it's so pretty. It's so green. And now we will do the same thing to the other side. Okay. Now I'm going to take that finger again with the darker green and just kind of push it back on a little bit into that color. And we'll do it on this side. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to go back in with my original fluffy brush and the first green I used and just kind of like give this a little more color again So that is all the green. So cute. And I'm just going to take another little small brush with that same green. I'm just going to like put it under a little like eyeliner. We're going about midway point. And then we're going to take the wet one. I've actually never put this under my eyes, so we're going to see how this goes. Okay. So much green, I love it. It's so pretty. Alright, we're going to take this brush and just kind of like wipe away the fallout because there is a little bit from the green. Not a lot, but enough that I'm going to try to use that like really pretty white color in the middle right there as a like highlight on the inner corner maybe the brow
We're gonna do eyeliner. Where I can never make small wings. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm like not gonna make them huge. Well, there they are. I'm gonna take that fluffy brush and just kind of like drag this color over a little bit just to like make them have no gap. And I'm just going to go back over those little tips again because now they're covered in eyeshadow. Now we'll do a mascara really quick. The camera's dying. Right at the end. Okay, mascara on... See how far we get before this dies. Lip liner. I'm using ColourPop and BFF. Now we have from the Coco collection from Kylie Cosmetics. The bigger the hoop, the bigger, or the bigger, yeah, the bigger the hoop. Okay. So it's just going to be like a really cute pink lip, nothing crazy. I'm going to shape them real quick. Now we have to glue on our lashes, but real quick, I'm going to set my face first. Just because I'm probably going to make one of these on off camera at this rate. And this is the Mario Badescu. Alright, we have the House of Lashes glue, and then these really cute, I think it's Lava Lashes. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I glued on my eyelashes off camera because my camera died. But this is my super fun green Christmas inspired makeup look. I am obsessed with it. It's so pretty. So this is what I'm going to look like for my family pictures. I'm going to change out of this into a plaid like white and black shirt. So it won't be so much color overload which will be good. But yeah, so this is my Christmas holiday green makeup look for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. We are so close to 200 subscribers. I'm super stoked about it. I'm going to try to post quite a few Christmas videos this month, but we will see. I definitely started way later than I was expecting to this year, so... We're going to just get as much done as we can, and I hope you guys enjoy them. I love Christmas. It's my favorite time of year. However, this year obviously is going to be different. I won't be doing like what I normally do for Christmas because I can't go to a bunch of Christmas parties this year, so it's all good. But I will try to film what I can for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up with a reindeer ear. <laughs> thumbs up comment below tell me if you guys like this look if you want to see more looks like this and yeah i love you guys so much thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys